There are two ways that I found to render text to the screen using SDL2. The first way is to use like a sprite sheet with all the characters that you want to render and grabbing them and rendering them the way you would render any other image. The challenge there is letter spacing and, and things like that. Uh, the second way that I found in my preferred way, so I don't have to worry about that, is to just type in strings to my program and have them rendered and let the font worry about spacing and that. So that's the way I'm going to show you now. And there's uh, just four simple steps that you can follow to get this done. The first step will be to include the proper DLLs in your project if you're on Windows. You include the sdl2 underscore ttf dot DLL and the zlib one dot DLL. You can grab these from the Odin, uh, the Odin code on GitHub, and I'll put a link down below. You grab those and you put them in the root of your folder. And then you have to select the, the font file that you want. So I put it in the assets fonts folder, and I chose to work with uh, terminal.ttf, the true type font file. That's what you'll need to include. As for the code, at the top of your program, you just import the vendor stl2 slash ttf, just like we did with image in an earlier video in the space shooter series. We do the same for the ttf uh, uh, library. And then down in the game struct, I just want to store a reference to the font. So I need to load the font and I'm going to need to reference that as I'm creating my textures. And before you start your game loop, this is where you'll initialize the TTF library, check for errors, and then you can open up your font. I selected 28 as a font size and you check for errors and defer the quit, just like we did up above with the video subsystem and the image subsystem. Now to help me uh, put the screen, the text on the screen, make it a little bit easier. I created a little helper function called make text where I could just pass in a string and optionally pass in a size for the string or rather a width and a height for each letter and then have it create the textures that I need. So first thing is I selected white for the, for the color and you call render text solid passing in the font, the C string text and the white color that you want to use and that will create the surface that is needed from which you can create the texture. So I create texture from surface using the surface that I create there and then I create a SDL rect which is where the text will, uh, how I'll actually render the text to the screen in terms of placement and height and width. I found it a little bit easier to manage the width by taking you know the number of characters and multiplying them by a certain width for each character. So the default that I have here is 60. So it'll take the length of my text, like space shooter, for example, and it'll multiply the number of spaces or characters by that width, and then I'll get the, the proper size rect that I want. And for height, I default it to 80. So that's what you see right there for space shooter. Press space to start. The next line is a little bit smaller. And this make text uh, helper function just returns a text struct that I made. That is just a way to keep together the texture and the destination rect uh, like I do for other images in this uh, in this game. Make text. Okay, so this is where I'm actually creating them. Uh, here I'm just using the defaults for space shooter. And the other ones here, uh, like uh, press space to start, I pass in other arguments to make the size a little bit smaller. So you can see there I'm passing in a 30 and a 60 to make it smaller. Now to keep track of them in the game, the way I'm doing it right now is using a, uh, an array called uh, texts and I'm storing that on the game struct. And each key in the array is an enum. So I'm using uh, text ID enum, home title, home subtitle, just different ways to keep track of which text I'm rendering. And when it comes time to render, it's just like rendering any other texture. You uh, set the destination X and Y. So where do I want to put it? Right here, I'm putting it in the middle of the screen. And then I call render copy. Uh, and it's just like uh, doing any of the images. So that's the easiest way that I've found so far to render text. Uh, in future videos, I'm going to explain how you can change the, uh, the transparency for these texts as well. Maybe get some cool effects. For now, this is just uh, very simple. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And if you have other strategies for putting text on the screen, I'd really like to hear it so we can all learn and, and get better at this. Thanks.